Welcome back everyone to the next installment of Resident Evil 4. We made it through the hectic opening village mayhem scene. And now we're out here. There's a guy doing yard work, another guy out here. And look at this, it's a sparkly. Man, it stinks. Well, let's get it down. If I can aim at it properly. I guess this is doing it. There it is. You got the dirty pearl pendant. There it is. So, I know the guy hears me. Don't worry about it. A very dirty accessory. It doesn't seem to have much value. Yeah, actually regarding that. Let's retry. Well, no, let's play it safe and load game. I'm assuming this would be the checkpoint, but let's play it completely safe. I'm going to do this again, but this time clearly I have irritated some villagers, so... Right, I was trying to aim and then strafe, that didn't work. Do you think I bother his friend? Oh! Damn, I'm good. Maybe not the most observant, but I got those reflexes. Anyway. Now that that's out of the way. If he's not going to mess with me, then I guess I don't care. Yeah, that'll be fine. Anyway, let's go back over. Because there's something secret that I want to show you. It's this little piece of wood or whatever that is. Now, let's get the piece of jewelry down. The Pearl Pendant. That's more like it. That's how you do it. It's in pretty good condition. Looks valuable. Yeah, that's more like it. Has a little cameo on the bottom. You can kind of see it. Beautiful. And if I really felt like it, I could open this thing again. Man, it stinks. So now it's staying open, so I could ruin that good thing I'd had set up. Oh well. Now, let's take a look at this tree. Because you can see this up here, right? And you can see a bad guy down there. Maybe I better take them first, but let's read this. About the blue medallions. Fifteen blue medallions. Seven in the farm, eight in the cemetery. For those of you who destroy ten or more will be awarded. The rest is illegible. Do you need to say four? For those of you who destroy it will be rewarded? Doesn't it just mean those of you who destroy them will be rewarded? Anyway, to make sure that I'm safe, I'm gonna start... Oh, he heard me. I'm gonna start taking guys out. No drops, I'm disappointed. Fourteen hundred pesetas. A thousand more. Nothing to examine here. I could open this, that's cool. Spinal. So much interactable stuff in this game, it's gorgeous, frankly. I'm sorry? Ugh, I was a jerk again. No drops. I just killed a chicken for no reason. Again, the dog wolf gets to stay. Uh, okay, so seven on the farm, eight in the cemetery, they said. 
Ugh, I'm having a difficult time finding out where my actual aim is. I see my laser, but I'm not... There, there we go. And it even tells me. One out of 15. Very nice. Oh, I missed. Great. And apparently there's a guy? Whoa. Nice. Where'd you even come from, sir? No drop for me. Nothing here except a stinking pool of manure. That does look absolutely vile. And I missed the chicken. Go figure. Or did I? Uh, or, or, or did I? It, it, oh, oh. Man, I'm terrible. All right, well, I tried. I really am just the worst. But I'm gonna need these cows to stop distracting me. Anyway, back to the tree. Again, I can't quite get a read on where my laser is actually aiming. But doesn't it look like I should be aiming right at the blue medallion? But it's clearly not. I don't quite know what they want from me. There's, there's gonna be the dot when I aim at it properly. What is this? Am I too high? Too low? This is more annoying than I thought. See, I had it for a second, too. There. Jeez. Unbelievable. Right, let's try going in this building and more properly exploring it, if I can get away with it. Yeah, there is a ladder here. Do you think that sound I hear is a guy? Yep. Did he not hear me the first time I fired my gun? <laughs> Whatever. No drops from anybody. I'll definitely take the handgun ammo. I've been spending, I mean, not that much, but enough. Here's a little secret for you. Oddly, this one I aimed at correctly immediately. Luminalian up there. Now that's tricky. There's an outer balcony up here. I'm trying to find more blue medallions as well. I can leap down there. You know what? Before I do with this, I'm going to go back in and I'm going to go out the other side. Yeah. This side. Oh, whoops. I should have used the knife. Wrong button. But I got a beer stein. Description. There are three recessions on the side. I wonder what they're for. Is this what I think it is? I have two spinals, right? Now, now check this out. Oh, they all have combined. I guess it doesn't help me very much then. But spinal? No? Huh. Don't tell me I put the ruby in it. I'll have to look into that later. Otherwise... Little secret area, sort of. So now we go back into the building, climb up it, and go more across the walkway. Now I'll hop down over here. I guess this is my exit, but... Herb. Looks like my ammo caps at 50 for bullets. So now I have six more bullets and a new inventory item thing. 
by the way, check this out. Look at those blue dots. I've gotten three of the 15 medallions, so they said there were seven around here. This is where the other four are, which means one of them is here. Oh, I see it. Again, I can't aim at it correctly. That's more than a little annoying. Really now? Thank you. Because look, I'm not touching the stick at all. I'm just holding L and look at how wobbly Leon's aim is. It's very frustrating. Anyway, oh, whoops, wrong button. I gotta get used to this. So, this way? Above the exit? Yep, above the exit. If I could aim at the damn thing. Again, this is so weird. But, I got the exit blue medallion. That's very good. Let's climb back up the ladder now. What else am I missing? Straight ahead and to my right. Do you think it's outside the barn or inside? It might be just outside, as a matter of fact. I might have to go around the back. It's done easily enough. I don't see anything in here. Oh, did I not open this? Okay. Cash. Thousand bucks. Take it. Okay, so this is where I came into the barn, so... Aha! See that? And that leaves one more. I think I saw it flash for just a second already. Boom. That covers the farm, just like that. Now I could probably leave unless there's anything else I should particularly look for. Oh, they, they can actually... They can swing back. No kidding. Well, damn. That's what I get, what can I say? Nobody's dropping anything. The only thing that's dropping is my health. <sighs> well, I tried. Now, where's my exit? Okay, straight ahead. So I guess that area with that one medallion was no good for an actual exit. I gotta go this way? No other items lying around, so I guess this is it. Open. I've seen this signpost before. Yeah, we have, the beginning of the game. Oh boy, I remember this. I, I almost screwed that up. I was using just my pointer finger for the square. I forgot you had to do that. I very, very nearly died. That was pretty frustrating. However, I'm going to go right back the way I came because I skipped a lot of trail because I was sprinting down it. Okay, but where are they throwing from? Are they on the bridge? There they are. Can I get them? I mean, I can clearly take them out, but can I reach them? Because if not, then there's really no point, is there? I don't know if there's any reason to really do this. I'm just gonna go. These enemies get to live to ambush another day, I suppose. Oh, hello. Did I? I thought I saw something drop. Maybe it was nothing, but I can do this. I got a spinal.
and again. A little bat flew by me or whatever. Again, the same signpost. <laughs> oh, that's annoying. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Someone threw something from somewhere. Took out the crate. See ya. Uh oh. Wanna see something cool? Ha <laughs> ha! Spooky area, though. I really in the building? Ugh. What a heavily defended area. Again, who's throwing? What the hell? Who, who threw? That one almost hit me. You could tell because I covered my eyes. In there? This is annoying. Oh, okay, I got him. Dead. Right? Shouldn't the dynamite have blown up by now? Incredible. Poor performance on my part, but I did survive. 800 percentas. Handgun ammo. Six hundred. The door is nailed shut. Oh hey, hand grenade, very nice. I got my own explosive. Unbelievable. This is definitely a spooky area, though. Heavily defended. And I'm looking for more of those bear traps. That's why I'm walking so erratically. I'll take the ammo. Oh, hello. You hear all that thumping? You know, I'm just noticing the typewriter is Amenhotep. I wonder what the significance is. This is easily uh, avoided. A thousand. You know what, I'll check the little cabinet first. Green herb, I'll certainly take that. I apparently need it. Then there's whatever this is.
can't check that one. them? No. You? <clears throat> okay. I have only one very important question. You got a smoke? Got gum. That's pretty good. Perfect. The big cheese. What? That's amazing. That's fantastic. That's how the chapter ends. All right. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll save. That was 1-1. One, one. What a way to start. humans let us give you our power <laughs> soon you will become unable to resist this intoxicating power <clears throat> that was the guy from the picture in the previous installment Tell me what's going on here. Americano, see? Now what brings a bloke like you to this part of the world? Oh, hey, easy, whoever you are. <sighs> Name's Leon. Came here looking for this girl. Seen her? What, are you supposed to be a cop or something? Nah, you don't look the type. Maybe. Okay, let me guess. She's the president's daughter? <laughs> That's too good for a guess. Want to start explaining? Psychic powers. Nah, <laughs> just kidding with you, amigo. I overheard one of the villagers talking something about the president's daughter in the church. That's less than good. And who might you be? Me llamo Luis Serra. I used to be a cop in Madrid. But now I'm just a good-for-nothing guy who happens to be quite a ladies' man. Why'd you quit? Phew, <sighs> policia. You put your life on the line. Nobody really appreciates you enough for it. Being a hero isn't what it's cracked up to be anymore. I used to be a cop myself. Only for a day, though. I thought I was bad. <laughs> Somehow I managed to get myself involved with the incident in Raccoon City on my first day in the force. That is the incident with the viral outbreak, right? I think I might have seen a sample of the virus in a lab at the department. Hey boy, I'm not bad. Do something, cop! After you. I'm gonna let this go. <laughs> Brutal. Yeah, welcome to these in-game QTE cutscenes. It's pretty fantastic, but definitely a surprise the first time. They gave me more than enough time to dodge, but I wanted to see what would happen. Humans, let us give you our power. Now. Let me skip right back to it, which is nice. Leon, sorry I couldn't get in touch sooner, but I was a bit tied up. You're okay, right? Fine. There was a male civilian held captive. 
According to him, Ashley's in a church somewhere. What happened to him? He managed to escape. Do you have a fix on the location of that church? No, but apparently there's a secret passage in the village that leads there. I'm heading back to the village. All right, there's your little update. Otherwise, quick handgun ammo. Where even am I at this point? Can I see? Yeah, they just took me in here. All right. Over here, stranger. Marvelous. Marvelous. Oh, hello. Rifle ammo. Let's take a look. Ammo to be used with any 223 caliber rifle. Dragonfly? I guess I'll save. I made it through the QTE. Whatever. Moving on out. Now I know the mysterious person went around the other way, but... Free nerve. I believe the exit is that door, so I'm checking around here first. But it looks like this is all I get. Got something that might interest you. <laughs> the best. Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. Oh, this takes me back. This takes me back. Don't know if you noticed, stranger, but did you see the blue medallions hanging around in the village? Come back after you shot ten or more of them. I've got a specialized gun I want you to try out. Now this is one thing. You might think that I'm overly neurotic, desperately trying not to spend pistol ammo when I clearly have more than enough. But I can sell. So it actually is worth it to keep excess ammo if I have loads and loads of it. What are you buying? <laughs> what are you buying? What are you selling? So if I had not... I, I don't know how I would possibly lose the handgun. I don't think it is possible to this point in the game. Unless I'm doing New Game Plus and I've already gotten rid of it. I could buy it here. Shotgun, if I missed it, I could buy it. But as you see, it's quite expensive. I probably should buy a rifle... There's a CMP, a submachine gun, a fully automatic machine pistol. The rifle is a 223 caliber bolt action rifle. I can buy a rocket launcher right now. 30,000. I could actually afford it too. Do major damage to any target, single fire. Available one. Scope for the rifle. I can buy the rifle and the scope right now. A custom scope for the bolt action 223 caliber rifle. Mounted to see your enemies closer. A must for long range shooting. First aid spray. This guy's got good stuff. What are you selling? What are you selling? Um, can I go to treasure? I guess I just have to scroll to get there. But as you can see, spinal, even the tiny stuff is worth 2,000. Ruby, 10,000. Pearl, 10,000. Beerstein, 3,000. Now it clearly says there are three recessions. I'll deal with that later because if I fill the recessions with whatever belongs there, it will increase the value of the Beerstein. But in the meantime, I can definitely sell the Pearl Pendant. Oh, and what's also worth pointing out, by the way, is I can sell my health items as well. So all the more reason to not get hit. But Pearl Pendant. Ah, I'll buy it at a high price. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. That's my favorite. <laughs> Thank you. And I don't believe the ruby has any particular use, so I'll sell that too. Uh, I'll, I'll buy it at a high price. <laughs> Thank you. Nah, I don't think you combine spinals with anything, so I'll just sell these too. Let's see if he says something for the regular. Just sell it for one. Is that all, stranger? There it is. Is that all, stranger? Is that all, stranger? Oops. Is that all strange? <laughs> Thank you. 
I'll hold on to the Bierstein, but now I have a respectable amount of money. It's a good thing I took out Salvador for 10,000, and Salvador for 10,000, and this is why you go hunting for treasures. It's so good. What are you buying? Now, with a guide, I don't really need the treasure map, but I'm going to buy one. A map that shows the locations of valuable treasures in the village area. Is that all, stranger? <laughs> Thank you. An upgrade to my inventory size that's incredibly important. A medium-sized case, 7x11, 77 boxes. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. That's good. And now... I was never really big on the TMP. I think I actually am going to go for the rifle and the scope. Is that... As you can see, there's already a dangerous amount of inventory being taken up here. I think somebody actually released, I believe it's an indie game, where the whole game is arranging basically this inventory screen. It's very satisfying. Like so. <laughs> Thank you. Scope. A custom scope for the bolt action 223 caliber rifle, mounted to see your enemies closer. A must for long range shooting. Is that all? I was afraid of this, it actually takes up space. Look at how little space I have left. Now the good news is I still have a bunch of boxes left, it's just percentage wise. Ugh. But again, I could sell rifle ammo for a pretty penny. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not gonna do it, but just what to show you. Selling? Handgun ammo. 50 bucks per shot, I think. Oh, okay, if you hold up long enough, then, yeah. 50 bucks per handgun ammo, 120 per shotgun, 150 for rifle, so there is money to be had here. It might even be worth selling incendiary grenades. I think I'd prefer the regular hand grenade. That's 2,000. Flash grenade temporarily blinds offenders, but there is a reason I would like to hold on to that, so more on that later. Otherwise, tune up. What are you buying? This is how you upgrade your various weapons. I'm actually not entirely sure I want to upgrade this stuff just yet. There are different kinds of handguns you could find, and there is a different shotgun, I believe. Rifle? I don't... This might be the only rifle. But, as you can see, I can upgrade my firepower. Firing speed, reload speed... Capacity, that's very nice. My capacity is currently, what, 10? Oh, it says it right there. 10. Reload speed goes from 1.73 to 1.47. When you've fully upgraded your reload speed, you are pretty fast <laughs> when you reload. Firing speed, 0.47 to 0.40. It adds up, especially when you upgrade twice. And fire power, 1.0 to 1.2. Now, don't tell anybody... But I've heard from somewhere, you know, back when I played the game in college, that if you upgrade every single thing to max, then you get a unique perk. And when I say unique, I don't mean you get the handgun perk. I mean this particular model of handgun gets a perk that is different from a different model of handgun. So it's interesting to experiment. But for now, I'm going to hold off. Get a load of that blue flame around him. What is that, the merchant flame? I don't know what that's all about. Red herb. And 800 more bucks. All of a sudden, money matters. All of a sudden, right? By the way, here's a bizarre thing. I think this is for fairness, in order to make the game playable. But I can shoot him dead. I can kill him right now. But the next part of the game, in a later level where a merchant would show up, the merchant's just there. Gameplay, it makes sense, because otherwise you completely shut yourself out. But I don't know if there's supposed to be a lore reason, like there's a bunch of different merchants or what. It's an interesting thought, but I have no idea. That said, though, please don't kill the merchants, because then you can't buy and sell stuff. And the guy's so friendly. He's great. Now, I don't know if anything's going to show up on my map, but I'll take a quick look. Okay, well, I can see areas ahead of me, those little stars. 
there's treasure, so keep an eye out when you get to that area. Otherwise... Little X's. Oh. Where was that? Can I get back there? I, I guess I'm probably going to get back there at some point. This area loops around. But that concerns me. Whatever, I'll get there. But at least otherwise, I've gotten all the treasures I can. So this is good stuff. For now, it is time to stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We explored a barn and some incredibly shady, well-guarded area where people were throwing dynamite at us. We took out blue medallions, but only about half of them, and who knows where the rest are? It says the cemetery, but we haven't run into that yet. We met a new friend, Luis Serra, who is just gone. He absconded, I don't know where the hell he went. And we met the village's chief. That might have been the guy who wrote the note at the end of the previous installment. He is strong. He just threw us from a kick, and that was enough to take us out. This guy is not somebody I want to mess with. The part that I find strange is that they injected us with something, but then that guy with the axe just came to kill us. What was the point? Do they want us infected, or do they want us dead? Who knows? But the good news is that in addition to Luis, we have a mysterious merchant who has lots of good things on sale, stranger. We're gonna have to make use of that. Until next time, everyone.